Hi everyone, in today's video I want to start showing you how I make these pumpkin chocolate chips cookies that are my current favorite. I got this recipe off Pinterest and I really liked it so I wanted to share it with you. I'm going to leave the link of the original recipe in the description down below so don't forget to check it out later. But what I'm going to do here is start with the dry mix, that's what I was doing in the beginning. And then in a different bowl we're going to make our wet mix. I'm gonna leave the ingredients here on the screen so you see what I'm doing. And I usually don't care about the order when adding the ingredients, but if this is important for you, I recommend you to check the link and read the directions of the original recipe. Once you have everything in the bowl, you can start mixing and you can do this for a couple minutes or until you feel it's ready for the next step. Now we're going to start adding very slowly our dry mix. And you have to be really patient because we have to make sure that we get a soft and very fluffy mix. I like to add the chocolate chips at the end because I like to do it with a spoon. I'll show you what I'm talking about later. But here, so once you feel like you have the right consistency, you're gonna grab your chocolate chips. It's about mm, as much as you want. I don't think there is a rule that tells you how much chocolate chips you should add to a recipe. So here I'm adding what I had. I wish I had more, but this is what I had. I'm saving a little bit for the end because I like to use those for decoration. Mix everything together and it's going to look something like this. At this point we are ready for our cookies and we're going to start placing them on the pan and you can use a nice cream scoop if you want if you have one i don't have one so i use what i have and you don't have to be precise or they don't have to be perfectly round and then when you're done we're going to start adding our chocolate chips on top Now you're going to put it in the oven. You should have your oven preheated at 350 Fahrenheit and they're going to bake for 12 to 15 minutes. This is how they look, the final result. And that's it. Let me know what you think. They are amazing as an afternoon snack with coffee. Oh my god, so 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 good. You should try this. After that, I went to my studio and I started to work in some orders. I had a good month in my shop and that made me really happy. So I'm gonna show you the process when I pack my orders.
The next day I work in some paintings and I got the reference of this picture of a Pinterest and if I can find the picture I'm gonna put it here on the screen so you guys can see it but yeah and always try new styles different techniques and I went for something a little bit more minimalist I wanted to try something a different of my usual style and I'm actually really happy on how this painting turned out and I'm gonna leave you here with some clips of me finishing this painting and I hope you really like it and if you do please don't forget to uh, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos But maybe I don't ever want to put down this life 